I'm going to call it here. Uh, screw it. I'm going to move on from the really wide bench press grip. Um, this is now the second session uh, in a week or second session in a row that I felt weak on the bench press. Now, it might not have anything to do with the grip. It might be that I've just hit some sort of, uh, I don't know, low period when it comes to um, when it comes to benching, maybe the low bar, maybe a maybe hundred different things. I don't know. All I know is that I've done probably now four months without even counting it uh, accurately. I've done four months with this wide uh, grip bench. The plan was to do four weeks. That's a huge difference. Uh, the reason why why it dragged out so far is because while well, I've been progressing really well on it and it's been feeling really, really good. So I've just kind of thought, well, no worries. I'll just keep on going until it stops. And I reckon now it's stopped. This is two sessions in a row where I've had a negative experience with it. I, I, I hit the first set for, for three reps. That was all good. But that third rep, I felt that anterior shoulder discomfort. And on the on the second set, I just I didn't I didn't feel good at all. And so I thought, you know what, let me get all this weight off uh, and just build up again with a medium grip. Uh, now my normal uh, bench grip uh, before doing all of this variation was one thumb length away from the smooth. Now I haven't gone back to that. I've gone for a third variation, which is uh, the pinky on the ring. And so instead of having the index on the ring, I have now a pinky on the ring, which is basically a hand width away from where I was um, at the start of the session. So I'm going to spend some time with this. Uh, I did one 10 for a set of five, uh, for five sets of five. Uh, and then uh, next session, I'll try and get 120 for five sets of five. And I'll just keep on stacking on reps um, on and on and on until I get 120 for five sets of five and then I'll go to 130 and so on and so on. Um, uh, I think it's important to mix it up. Um, I think it's important. I've spent way too long with this grip, uh, and that's purely because this is the first time I've ever done it, and my body probably had a lot of room to grow with it. So now I'll go back to the original plan, uh, push this as far as possible, uh, push for four weeks minimum. Uh, if after four weeks I'm like struggling, whatever, mix it up again, go to the original plan, which was the original grip. So I've got three variations when the bench when it comes to bench as well, uh, and just keep on rotating. Why? How? Um, how can I avoid this? It doesn't really matter. Like all of this stuff is just irrelevant to me anymore. Uh, pick something, do it for a while. When it stops, if it starts to hurt, move on to something else. Instead of banging your head against the wall like I have for the majority of this of my training uh, career, where I just try to like dissect everything and work out what's going on. Instead of doing that, just change something up and, and move on. Uh, conjugate style, Louis Simmons style. Uh, you know, he had an even smaller window of three weeks and just keep on rotating all the time. And he had hundreds of exercises. Uh, for me, I think three is okay and just keep on moving in between uh, all of the extremes of those three uh, grip widths and just uh, take it from there. Um, I'm very happy that I lasted four months without any discomfort. With uh, the really wide grip, frankly, very, very surprised by that. Uh, so now I'll go back to the, uh, or go to the medium grip. Uh, I feel very weak with it. Of course you would be after not doing it for a long time. Uh, the only thing I'm going to have to be very, very careful with is uh, making sure that I don't, um, making sure that I don't have any elbow pain. That's going to be the real deciding factor here. Uh, the more narrow I go, I feel like the more risk I have with the elbow pain. There's obviously more range of motion through the elbow. So I just need to be careful that that doesn't happen. And if it does happen, I'll, I'll need to kind of work through that. And I've got some ideas how to work through that um, and uh, go from there. The wide has been amazing, absolutely amazing for the, for the length of this uh, training block, uh, which has been a long block. So it's a self-caring uh, lift. Now I'm going to something which historically I've had a little bit of difficulty with, uh, but it's still kind of foreign enough. Um, like the original uh, elbow inducing pain was the really, really narrow stuff. Uh, now I'm kind of going to the medium. So hopefully the medium is kind of like the happy in between the two. Um, hopefully I get to 130, start working 130s. Uh, and maybe even 140 for sets of five. That would be really, really cool. That would be really cool. But, you know, let's let's see how it pans out. And then hopefully, you know, go back to narrow again. And then after that block, go back to wh uh, what I just did, which is the wide. And so 
Hopefully, it's kind of like a step-loaded thing. I'm trying to increase three lifts instead of just one lift. I think it's a much better uh, uh, approach to do that than just to keep on hammering specificity until the cows come home. That is a very difficult thing to do. Uh, and frankly, it's not sustainable. Um, I'm doing the same thing with squats. Uh, lots of variation there with the accessories, leg press, belt squats, uh, hex squats, um, lots of different uh, ideas and just keep on pushing, pushing, pushing and mix and match. As soon as something feels off, swap it out, get something else. Um, I feel like that is the, the big discovery of this year for me um, and I haven't uh, lost any motivation in my training. Even though I love high bar squats and that's what I want to do all the time, I've found a bit of uh, interest uh, interest enough to, for, for me to keep coming back and to hit the low bar. So I think I'm finding some, uh, some love for this variation business. Appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.